In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AI to improve your crypto research. We'll go through three different tools today that can leverage the power of ChatGPT and other new AI tools to take your crypto research to the next level. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As always, nothing I say in this channel is financial advice. This is for educational purposes only, and specifically in this video, education on how to do your own research. Now, let's get into the video. To start, we'll go to the AI tool that probably the most number of people are familiar with, and that is ChatGPT. Now, for this first tool, you will need a subscription to ChatGPT Plus because it involves a ChatGPT plugin. However, if you do have a subscription to ChatGPT Plus, then you can change the option up here at the top to GPT-4, and then you can select Plugins Beta. And what we're going to use first is the DeFi Llama plugin. DeFi Llama is a tool for crypto fundamental analysis. And what this plugin does is it actually gives ChatGPT access to data from DeFi Llama. So you can ask it questions, for example, about which chains have seen the most growth in the past week. Let's look at a few examples. So if you select install here, it will install the plugin. You make sure that it's checked off so that way you can actually ask it questions and then to start, we will give it the following prompt. We're going to say, you are a cryptocurrency analyst. Describe the most notable changes in TVL from the past week. Format them in a table. Now, TVL, for those of you who don't know, is total value locked. Basically, it means deposits in DeFi protocols. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with using the DeFi Llama plugin. It's going to take a minute just to query DeFi Llama. And then look, straight up, it comes up with the top five protocols with the most notable changed in total value locked. It finds the protocol, the chain, the change over seven days, the delta in terms of dollar values, and then the TVL in terms of dollar values, so the total TVL. Let's give it one more prompt. So next we'll say, find the top 10 chains by TVL change in the past week. And these are just basic questions, right? You, you could ask it more in-depth questions as well, but these are basic questions to show you the sorts of capabilities that this plugin gives ChatGPT. And look at that. It comes up with the top 10 chains with the most notable changes in TVL over the past week. It has them ordered by Delta and then has the total TVL. The next AI tool to improve your crypto research allows you to easily ask questions of any white paper. The tool is known as chat PDF. And what you can do is you can drop any white paper there and then, or really any PDF, but we'll use it for white papers. And then you can ask that the app questions of the PDF as if you were asking chat GPT questions about anything. So let's look at an example. We have render network, which is a project I've talked a lot about on this channel. It's a distributed GPU rendering service on the blockchain. And let's look at their white paper. Now, if we just open the white paper, we can see that not only is it very long, it's 10 pages, but it is very dense, right? It involves a lot of technical language um, in very text heavy document. Well, if we download the PDF, then we can upload it to ChatGPT. And by doing so, it quickly loads it in here and we can start asking it questions. So let's look at a few of these. What is the purpose of render and how does it work? These are just the example questions. And look at this, it just, it comes up with a summary of it from the, from the PDF in about two seconds. How does it benefit content creators in the entertainment industry? Again, it's pulling information from the white paper and summarizing it for you right now. Let's ask it, summarize in 10 bullet points the render white paper. Look at this. 10 bullet points right like this. By the way, if you create content in crypto, then this could also potentially help you because you could use it to easily create threads or other sorts of content. The final AI tool that we'll look at today is known as Smarter Contracts. And this is another chat GPT plugin. However, this time I'll show you a way that you can accomplish the same things without actually needing the plugin. Again, we'll change to GPT-4 and plugins. But we don't want the DeFi Llama plugin. In this case, we want a plugin known as Smarter Contracts. 
we'll install this. And what this allows you to do is you can paste any Ethereum contract in here and then ask ChatGPT questions about that contract. And for this example, we're going to use a contract that we already know rugged. I found this example a couple weeks ago, but you can see this token rugged. It's not worth anything anymore. There's no liquidity. We're going to use the token contract that I found over here on Dex Screener, and we're going to ask ChatGPT using the Smarter Contracts plugin if there's anything wrong with this contract. And if it finds anything wrong, then we'll know ChatGPT, Smarter Contracts could have helped you avoid a rug on this token. So let's ask it some questions. Describe what this Ethereum contract does. Highlight any red flags. We'll paste the contract in and let's see what it comes up with. And look, it identifies it right away as a token, identifies the name, that it's an ERC-20, and then it finds several red flags this quick. It's been flagged as a potential honeypot. The owner has privileges that they ought not. It has trading restrictions, fixed transfer amounts, just a lot of red flags that if you potentially were looking at buying this token before it rugged, you could go in here and you could see very quickly that this was not something that you wanted to buy. Now, perhaps some of you don't have ChatGPT+, Plus, but you still want to be able to analyze smart contracts. There is a way to do this without ChatGPT+, Plus. it's just a little more complicated. So we're gonna go back to GPT 3.5, and then we're gonna take this contract. So over here on Dex Screener, I'm copying the contract. Now I'm going to Etherscan, and I'm searching it on here. By the way, I have another video with an introduction to Etherscan that will help you understand how to navigate Etherscan if you don't know already. Uh, but that brings us to the contract page here, and then we select contract, and then this is the actual code for the contract. I'm gonna press this button here, copy source code to copy it. Then I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it the same question, but with instead of linking the contract with an address, I'm just gonna paste the entire contract in. Describe what this Ethereum contract does. Highlight any red flags. Paste in, let's see. So it's not quite as clean as before, but it still is telling us what it does. Red flags, hard-coded address, lack of explanation, limited access control, potential. So it does highlight still some red flags. It's potentially not as pretty as, uh, the, as the plugin, but you would still get an idea that this was probably not a token that you wanted to mess around with if you were to use the straight up chat GPT. 3.5. If you want to learn more about how to use tools for crypto research, subscribe to my weekly newsletter, the Dynamo DeFi newsletter at dynamodefi.com and receive a free guide to on-chain analysis. Each week I send out a tool highlight for a different tool to help you in your crypto research. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.